for Tony, for Tiana, for Remy, for EJ. I'm terrified for my daughter to ask me who God is. Black church was beautiful. I mean, being me growing up in the Black church, I do know that it has a tumultuous history when it comes to um, the LGBTQ community. And, uh, you know, a lot of Black churches and preachers will focus on the scriptures that um, focus on the idea of homosexuality being a sin that is dooming or perversion or something that is dooming you to hell. But there's always this juxtaposition of we have plenty of gay people in the churches and it's okay if you're in the church, if you're leading the choir, if you're doing certain things, but you have to act a certain way for us to, you know, to deal with you. And then inevitably we still won't embrace you because you're still considered this perversion. Um, I thought that the shots were very surrealistic in this piece. It was a short piece, kind of felt a little bit like a music video because it's like spoken word throughout the whole time. But this whole time he's like, um, struggling for his freedom and struggling for understanding the imagery was just so powerful how you're seeing that you know everyone is kind of holding him back and you know he wants this 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 freedom to blossom inevitably and you know using the the, the flowers as sort of the um, symbolism for his gayness um, it was beautiful and the words were powerful and the images really matched the words for me. And, you know, I would hope that more people can see that message and, and hear it because God loves everybody. And whether you take your scripture and focus on every word, perfect, you know, word, perfect by word, by word, there are a lot of things in the scripture that people still choose to ignore because it is of a different time. Now, I'm not going to give my opinion on of whether we think it's a perversion or not I mean I personally don't but you know I'm not going I'm not here to argue with anyone thinking it is but I do think it is important for the church to feel like a, a place first where people are safe first to worship and it always seems as if in scripture as it being a safe place for sinners to come as they are so you cannot expect someone to come as they are but at the same time tell them their perversion doesn't really work i thought this one was a really powerful piece of poetry um great visual to just the, the movement and the way um, things were shot the direction i should say was really really spot on really matched the tone of the piece um and the lyrics themselves were just again really powerful moving um just a really strong short piece and everyone involved should be really proud oh i loved this one it was so well written um the words the beat the passion behind all of it was incredible and the performance was just outstanding i loved the um blood on the sunflowers that just stood out and the quick not quite jump scare but essentially a jump scare in the window of the man looking out and then a flash of blood dripping out of his mouth both of those just stuck out and the um when he spoke about a noose there was the garden hose being wrapped around the white hands and that was striking um the whole piece just was really really well done and um being thrown into the field by white people and black people alike being like i'm accepted by no groups where am i meant to be it just really really uh weighs heavy on you watching it. it it was very well done black church was very inspirational and its message reminds me of the message of do the right thing uh where basically trying to cure violence hatred and bigotry with more violence, hatred, and bigotry is not the right answer. Uh, and on your conquest of that mission, uh, you can become blinded by your mission and not realize the hypocrisy that you're committing. Uh, for, for Do the Right Thing, it was the blatant discrimination uh, 
for the Asian store. And for this, it was the aspect of isolating and alienating someone for being a part of the LGBTQ community um, and more specifically uh, trans rights. And I believe the connection was very strong about connecting the discrimination of black people, yet um, the one place where uh, a black person is supposed to be is supposed to feel safe, they're also meeting the same discrimination. It creates an isolating feeling. Um, the world doesn't want you because of the color of your skin, and the people who share the same color as your, of your skin don't want you because of who you are on the inside. Um, and they can't see the hypocrisy in treating someone the same exact way that they don't like to be treated. Um, I think that's a very powerful message. Uh, this one was very short, uh, but also very to the point. Uh, it has a clear message. The narration throughout is very impassioned, and I think that that works to get that point across and get that message across right from the beginning and throughout its entire runtime. Uh, the camera work was quite good, dynamic, it moves around a lot, the shots uh, are interesting, not exactly the first thing that you would uh, expect for the filmmaker to do, which I uh, always appreciate, I like to be a little surprised, I like to see some creativity, uh, and I thought that I was seeing that here. Uh, the sound design was also quite good, it complemented uh, the mood uh, and the emotion of the monologue and just helps to kind of tie the entire film together. So that's something that I uh, appreciated, enjoyed, and even though this one was short, I, I thought it was still quite good. I loved this film so much. Um, I loved how your main actor made eye contact um, with the camera. Um, I loved the imagery around the flowers, um, and I loved the language and the text within it, like it was so personal. Um, and I think you created like, you know, this sort of poetic experimental film with um, a really heavy and relevant subject matter. I feel like by the end of it, you know, I really felt for this man and I, it made me want to make a change. It made me want to do something different um, because his story was really tragic and heartbreaking. And I think centering it around his daughter um, was very powerful. Black Church was so incredibly powerful. I mean, you know, the dialogue of this piece was, was spoken word and so rhythmic and it adds a lot to the piece, but on top of that, such powerful imagery of, you know, a garden hose becoming a noose and people going out to a field and, and, and blood, um, a lot of blood, this imagery of blood and this, this feeling of hardship as, as being a black person, but then also being gay and not having you know, this black church, this, this, this community to, to lean upon and to be, you know, this, this feeling of, of lack of acceptance from everywhere you turn. And it's incredibly prevalent throughout the piece and incredibly powerful and, and, and passionate. And, and it encapsulates the entire piece. Like it was just, I don't know how to describe the piece outside of you know pain and passion it was just incredibly emotional and incredibly well thought out and powerful and well done and i just i really have to commend you because it, it was just it was heartbreaking but it was it was really really beautiful so very well done